cervical cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths among women in India. In spite of having uh, the National Programme for Cancer, NPCDC is what we call it as, there is a national program which focuses all the activities towards prevention, screening and treatment of cervical cancer, in spite of which there is uh, hundreds and thousands of women who are getting detected and also losing their lives and uh, there is so much of hesitancy among the women as far as the cervical cancer screening is concerned. Even though we have a national program for uh, screening for cervical cancer, one of the hindrances personally I have felt when uh, in my public health experience is getting themselves tested. Prescript Tech is giving an opportunity for women to prove to themselves that there is a possibility of a cell swab which can be done in the confines um, uh, of their home or it could be in a camp based setting and where they feel they are given uh, adequately educated and provided the awareness and they feel empowered that the health is in their hands. So how we did that is that uh, we went to the community, approached the community leaders, uh, approached the health workers in the community, the doctors in the community, government in the government setup, and we conducted a, conducted interactive sessions for them. Uh, we called them to us and conducted one activity. Also, we went to their places and conducted awareness activities, workshop also we conducted, and uh, with that we took them into confidence and uh, and that's how we approached them. So the ASHA workers are the ones whom, who helped us reach the women because ASHA are from the community. ASHA workers are the uh, ladies from the community who are interested in delivering some healthcare um, facilities to the women in, within the community. So they are the bridges between the women or the, between the families and us. VIA is a very subjective decision making. VIA involves a lot of subjectivity in it. A lot of experience is required to say whether VIA lesion is as a positive or negative, whether it is called as acetovite or it is not acetovite lesion. So this expertise is lacking and the manpower training is a huge cost. So AI is what we thought would be useful to help as a decision support system, to help a low skilled uh, health worker to provide a decision. Uh, that way I think AI plays a very important role in making sure that there is a right diagnosis. If it were without AI, if it was a manual VAA, then whatever decision that has been taken in the field at that point of time, it is the final. I mean there is no possibility of a second opinion. So what we do is to store the image so that before application of acetic acid and after application of acetic acid, we take the pictures so an expert can be consulted later so they can see both the images and come to a conclusion whether the AI has already provided a decision but if there is any suspicion one we can cross check that and confirm.